Solomon Joseph's life changed in a blink of an eye when a speeding car crashed into the vehicle he was traveling in coming home from work in 2015. The accident happened a year after his graduation. When Joseph next regained consciousness, he was surrounded by doctors calling out his name. As your spine has suffered serious damage, you would not be able to get up and walk, the doctors told him. The news was heartbreaking to the point where for a moment he felt he would not be able to bear it and wept uncontrollably, he says. The next three months saw him battling for his life with doctors giving him slam chance for full recovery as he was paralyzed from the neck down. In time, Solomon hailed and says he made it a point to find the meaning and purpose for his life. But to me, I was really willing because I wanted to get back on my feet. I wanted at least one of a good day to go back to work. I wanted at least to be able to, have, to look after my family because I was a breadwinner in a wheelchair. It did not only affect you, but also the family. Philip Schoeman survived a horrific car accident that took place in 2018 near Handys Bay. Due to the accident, he lost his speech and now finds himself having to relearn how to breathe, speak and chew. Treatment cost him over $80,000 and as of 2019, he has regained the ability to walk. He is determined to make a full recovery. Oh my, she had a brain injury. I got blood on my frontal lobe of my brain and also damaged my brain stem very badly. The doctor gave me a 10% chance. I was on a ventilator and also in a coma for nine days. If I, if I survived, the doctor said it will take approximately five to seven years, seven years to recover. Recovery wasn't easy at all. Both survivors say their current situation does not define who they are. Stefan Urab, NBC News, Swakopmund.